First and foremost, I would like to thank Brennan Gallagher for getting into so much trouble that he's literally made up like half of these videos is just Brendan Gallagher. Good morning, afternoon and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan and Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of, yeah. He's like wedged in with like the pole. Stuck in the right, tripod. it's over there, yeah. <laughs> so we haven't released a video in a couple of days because honestly, we were mostly just super shocked that our short had 1.4 views. Don't know how that happened. Not gonna question it at all. 4K, not 1.4. Not oh, one yeah, yeah. And yeah. Part of another view. Yes, yes. But anyway. <laughs> So we're back with this. I've been Can delaying I just say this. One quick thing? Yes. Uh, thank you to all of you who have been tuning into me and Jake on CFL Central, our uh, new channel. Plug, so plug, 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 this goal was, like, I went back and forth on this call a lot, and it's not just because I understand Montreal's pain here, but also, too, like, I have friends that are Tampa Bay fan, uh, Lightning fans. I have friends that are Montreal Canadiens fans. They do not agree on this goal. Um, so, Brendan Gallagher, now, it's, let's, 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 put, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. The Tampa Bay Lightning would win this game in overtime in another controversial goal, but I technically can't cover it because it's a missed penalty that, yes, it should have been called, but I can't cover it because it's not a like this. But let's get into this goal, shall we? So I think Montreal is up in the game at this point. Either way, it will end tied in regulation. So Maxime Lagasse um, is in net. Brendan Gallagher is there. Can't tell who's there. Doesn't matter really to the story who he is. It just matters what he does. Is that Gallagher, Alex Killorn? maybe. Looks like Alex Killorn. Maybe. Okay. Anyway, Gallagher shoots, saved by Legacy, and Gallagher either gets either pushed or runs into Killorn, which causes Gallagher to get stuck. Now this is it's not Killorn. There's too many letters. Oh jeez. But anyway, whoever it is, doesn't matter doesn't matter so the overhead view is really really close and i'm going to explain in a in a couple sections first off what my problem is with the review system here okay they don't go into specific enough detail as to why this goal was waved off because this goal would get reviewed it was called a goal on the ice and would be disallowed afterwards so there was conclusive evidence now the thing is here is <sighs> I have a lot of problems with the process that the NHL goes through when they go through these reviews. And the biggest one I have is vagueness. They're too vague in describing certain plays and why they don't result in a goal. They will say blanket statements like telling me goaltender interference is not enough. Say impeding in the goaltender's direction or makes illegal contact with the goalie prior to the goal. Be specific because those words matter, especially when you got guys like me who run around recording and reacting to every single controversial goal call pretty much in NHL history at this point. I have a lot of ground to cover still, but you do not make it easy for me, NHL. Let's just review. So initial shot, save. Now this is where Gallagher comes into contact with the defenseman here. Now this is the biggest indictment. From here, Gallagher seemingly has a trajectory going this way, but, but get, gets hit by the defender, which pushes him this way, which pushes him towards the net. And we can see from here, oh yeah, we got vacuums now in this house. Oh, okay, piss in my mood. Anyway. <laughs> We should be all right. The mic's hooked up to you. Yes. Um, <laughs> You're allowed enough. Contact with Gallagher is, in, is concluded. However, Gallagher's stick is coming into contact with Le Legacy, which obviously pushes him into the net. I gotta say, it feels weird when you say Legacy because I'm used to Legacy. Legacy. Like, like la Legacy. I know, but I have to make it known. So this is the problem I have. There are two sides of this. So most of these things that make the Canadians fans really cross is that Gallagher gets pushed in the net. However, I don't know if that's really true because Gallagher's 
trajectory at all of these is really tough to distinguish because Gallagher makes a, a contact here. Now Gallagher the entire way has not been pushed into the goalie himself. It's his stick that does. And the argument here, as you can say, is that Gallagher should just move his stick out of the way. However, the argument going the other way is that Gallagher needs to balance himself. But that is an argument that then makes me question whether or not balancing yourself when you're getting pushed into your goalie means that you're impeding on the goaltender's direction and ability to stop the puck. Can you understand how frustrating this play is? Nothing is conclusive at all in this. Nothing. The entire way, also, too, the defender makes this so freaking hard because he doesn't actually push Gallagher. He just continues his forward traje trajectory. But Gallagher doesn't make a point. Like, also, too, NHL, you need to make this known. Do the NHL players need to make a conscious effort to get out of the way? And if so, what is a conscious effort? Because you're not specific. This is the league's problem more than anything else. Because the league does not make these things clear. And then when we get crapshoots like this shit, they're like, oh, duh, duh, pick a card. Because I don't know. Honestly, when in doubt on such an absolute cluster of a play like this, go with the initial call. And literally because you cannot, and just claim that you cannot have conclusive evidence that Gallagher is intending to inter, like, interact with the goaltender illegally. The only problem is, is that Gallagher's fucking stick goes in there. Like, there's two ways that we can say this. One, there's two outcomes that I will accept. One, Gallagher did not make a proper enough effort to get away from the goaltender, goaltender's um, ability to save the shot, which is illegal if you claim that Gallagher's, Gallagher's stick, when refocusing his efforts, should not have been in there. Option two is that you are not able to find conclusive enough evidence that deems that Gallagher was the one at fault with the collision with the goaltender, resulting in a goal. I will accept either of those options. If the call is up to me, I will say, this is a goal. This is really, really close, but I would call it a goal based on the grounds of prior, prior being called a goal, and also with the intent that Gallagher seemingly doesn't need try to impede with the goaltender. But again, honestly, let me know in the comments because this is what I would like to call a proper clusterfuck. Just a clusterfuck. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to leave a like. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.